Hey everybody, it's Tom. Uh, nice to be back. Hope you're all doing well if, uh, with what the, what's happening in the world. Uh, today I'm just going to do a quick video just to get back in touch with you guys. I'm going to talk about Fences. So Fences is an application from uh, Stardock. So Stardock do all kinds of different things. Uh, they do object desktop. Uh, they have a start menu customizer. Uh, another thing they have is is their, I think it's called Object Doc. Uh, that's a nice one as well. Uh, but yeah, they have a bunch of different applications and also games. But uh, this one has always just kind of hung in the background for me. And I've never really checked it out. And I checked it out recently and I've got to say uh, it, it makes life so much easier on your desktop. So if you're like me, uh, you'll have a desktop like this. So you'll have a, a bunch of uh, programs, uh, random files, uh, maybe you've typed something in Notepad, um, maybe you've just downloaded something to your desktop for later and you want to come back to it, but obviously we never do. Um, and it ends up like this and, you know, you just look at it and, you you know, what you do is you pretty much just you know, you open your browser and you try to forget it's like that. You don't get around to actually sorting it out. Kind of, uh, well, kind of describes our real desktop, I think. Um, anyway, so Fences pretty much solves this problem immediately. So I'm going to show you what it does. I've actually already installed Fences, um, but it's really easy to install. It's just, it's... Honestly, if, if you've ever had one of those applications where it's just run for the installer and it's done, it's just like that. Um, but I'm going to show you exactly what I got. So, desktop is messy and desktop is clean. And that's it. Uh, this is the default configuration. So, you see I've got my programs, programs rather, uh, folders. And then I've got my just my random files that I've got kind of spread out all over the place. Um, yeah, I mean, at, right out of the box, it's just taken away all of this clutter that I had here. Anyway, you might want to create a new fence. So in my case, so if I do, yeah, if I do that. So all I'm doing here, whoops, it's better to right click. All I'm doing is, is left clicking or right clicking and you click create fence here and it does just that, it creates a fence so I can call this uh, screen recorders because I've got two last icons here that I want to sort out I'm going to drag those in uh, oops there we go Ta -da! so now they're in the uh, screen recorders fence and I can, I can sort all of my applications like like that just if I want to I can I can sort them into tools I can sort them into games I can do whatever I want and then actually if I don't want this I can re I can reverse it by simply uh, clicking here and clicking remove fence I can click on the title to change the name I can drag it around I can resize the fence and I'll just show you what it does so remove fence and it just bounces straight back to where it was and that's it dead easy isn't it um, so for me I'm happy with this default configuration but I'm gonna show you what you can find in the settings here so in the settings it, uh, at the start it gives you a few uh, instructions uh, how to basically use fences in the in the in a very simple way um, and then there's more there's more that you can do so uh, you can enable fences I'm actually going to change this to create fences with right mouse button only so that then I can still left click and I can still do stuff with my desktop although I think fences has a thing where it actually just makes sure like whatever desktop, uh, whatever icons you have on your desktop, they just kind of go 
back to the same place. Anyway, um, so now it will only do that with the right mouse button for me. Look at the appearance. So show labels. So you can show labels on mouse over. Huh. Oh no. Okay. I've. I thought it was on. Uh, I've got it shown as always. So I can. I can take away the labels, like that. I kind of like that actually. I think. I'll, I think we'll keep it like that. You can change the color. Um, we can darken the fence area title bars. Uh, we can animate icons when we move. We can fade out scroll bars when active, when inactive even. Uh, we've got folder portals. So this one, I'm actually not too sure what it is. I think what it's saying here is um, you you create a folder portal, and then rather than the contents of the folder opening in the window you can actually just kind of you know you can browse it as if it's just in that fence if that makes sense how to create a uh, folder portal okay so hold alt while drag dropping the folder onto your desktop oh, okay choose create folder portal okay let's see let's try that create folder uh, create folder portal here Great fit. Ah, I see. Okay. Okay. So, you know what? I'm going to right click. I'm going to make a folder. I'm going to call it icons. And I'm just going to put those two icons in there. And. Okay. I'm going to create folder portal here. I'm going to go to my desktop to that folder icons. Uh, yeah, okay, and that's it. So, so this is now showing the contents of that folder. So it could be any folder you want. You could actually just create, um, well, not create. You could go to your pictures, um, in your files, and it would show the pictures in that in that fence. So it's actually quite easy. So obviously, removing the photo, uh, the folder portal doesn't get rid of what's in the folder or the folder itself that's the main thing with that one uh, great hotkeys so uh, we can access fences instantly with hotkeys so you can do this so I'm gonna I'm actually gonna do toggle so you can do win control space and there it is <laughs> pretty cool so they doesn't matter if you're um, on your desktop or in your browser you can just simply do that and it'll pop up wherever it is and then you can just click back on the window and there it is again uh, and there we are okay so we've got quick hide so um, it, it does that uh, as well so you you can double click and hide the icons and just to explain something to you guys, um, I'm using ShareX for my screen recording software. Um, because I showed you uh, the hotkey thing, so that's this. Whoops. So you see, uh, when I did that, uh, it kind of has an issue with my screen recorder. So that's why you can't uh, see me do that right now. But I promise that that works. Um, so you just double click anywhere on your desktop and it will hide the fences basically we can roll up fences so if we double click on title bar you see what it does it rolls up the fence which is quite nice uh, we've got desktop pages yep so it, it makes sure it, that basically turns your desktop into a mobile phone so uh, how to use how to create a new desktop page drag an icon or a fence to the edge of your screen hold it there a moment and your desktop will switch page ah okay got it uh, yeah I mean for me I'm just a basic user of this I'm not gonna bother with that 
that's just something that you can do if you want to make it behave more like a phone. Layout and snapping. So you can uh, you can actually snap. So if I can drag my fence around. Okay, that'll be the bug. <laughs> but you can, the way that you can snap your window like this. So you see when I use Windows Snap to snap it into full screen. You can actually make it so that your fences snap together. Uh, is basically what I'm telling you there. Okay, now this is what I really, really love. They have something called layout snapshots. So it says that it automatically takes daily backup snapshots and the, the most recent three days will be kept. So here we've got an, a pre install snapshot. So I don't know if you can see it, but that is how my desktop looked before I installed fences. That one will always be kept. So actually, if I, if, there we go. If I click on, on it like that. That's how my desktop looked. Ta-da. Um, so I can always go back to this, which is brilliant, I think, that they'll actually do that for you. Uh, we could sort and organize. So what it's going to do by default is that all new icons go to the general desktop. So all new icons will go to the to the desktop and I can then choose what to do with it from there. And then the last one is about so you can change your language uh, and you can check for updates and you can also if you if you've bought Stardock before you can put your product key in here. So yeah it's you have to pay for this um what i've got is only a uh, a 30 day free trial and i've had it five days so i've got 25 days left to be honest i think possibly next month when i get paid i am probably going to buy it um pretty decent thing to have obviously i can't use the, the got to remember in future not to use the hotkeys <laughs> when uh recording well at least with share x but i'm I'm actually kind of looking for a different screen recording software at the moment. But yeah, there you go. That's Fences. I totally recommend trying it out. And it's only, if we go to the Buy page. Yeah, it's only uh, US $19.99. Uh, there's, there's ways that you can get it for cheaper. You can use different currencies and things like that. Um... But yeah, I think it's possibly well worth it. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna ride out the trial and see how it works. But yeah, guys, fences. I, I really can't recommend it enough to you. It just really kind of saves the eyes, you know. It's just so much easier to to see my, to see my icons now. Anyway, that's it for today. Uh, I hope everyone's doing well and. Hope you guys are taking care and staying safe out there. And I'll see you next time. Thank you.